Hi everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket with another personal shopper video sharing my product recommendations and taking your requests. Um, this is part two of vintage products. We've had some requests for this and last week we looked at embellishments and albums and um, kind of bigger ticket things. Today we're going to look at the paper products. So a few collections and as well as um, embellishments that are more paper made. So the first one is this farmhouse collection from October Afternoon. October Afternoon products always um, sell really well for us in the store and they're always a hot item. And this is um, the farmhouse collection which we've had for a little bit but it's still very popular and um, works well with this theme. So we looked at the cardstock elements and now we're looking at, these are the alpha stickers. I love the different sizes and styles here. This is called Button Box and it has all the old vintage imagery and those button cards which has been really popular. See lots of doilies and text and vintage imagery. Here's so we've got a bunch of old chairs. This one is called Church Social. It looks like old crocheted doilies. Faded wallpaper. Porch swing. Okay, old advertisements. This is clothesline. This one has been a really popular paper. With all the different banners. I love the, the kind of dusty pinks and golds and blues in this. And um, all of the October afternoon kind of has a little bit of an aged look in the corners. And then this one is called Kitchen Cupboard. All right, so that was October afternoon's farmhouse. They've just come out with um, a collection called Nine to Five. And you'll want to check out that as well, as well as um, a lot of their products have are inspired by vintage imagery and old advertisements and things like that. So it's a good brand if you like this kind of style. The next collection I have to show you is called Nostalgia, and this is from My Mind's Eye. This is um, the die cut sheet, and we've got more of those button um, die cuts, some words here journaling labels, um, little flags you can cut out. So, and this kind of just previews the whole color scheme for the collection here. So kind of this peachy pink and golds, aqua blues and greens. I love those scalloped ovals. This one is called Jacks. This is Diamond. Fisher Diamond. This is Roses. Love the little tiny roses on there. Very sweet. This is Vintage. Chevron. As you can tell, we're looking at the B-sides first because it gives you gives me the name here, I can tell you. This one's called Classic. And the last one here is called Random. Um, so this one is specifically, I mean, by the name of the collection, Nostalgia, it's very much vintage inspired, but My Mind's Eye is also a brand that um, their papers have a little aged and distressed look, and you're gonna find a lot of things that will work well for this kind of style. An older collection that I believe is on sale right now is one from Studio Calico and it's called Memoir. And um, these are just kind of cozy colors and they describe this collection as one that just kind of wraps you up like a, like a hug from a friend. Um, so I'll quickly go through the patterns here. This one is called Heirloom. And it uses like this deep purple and kind of grass greens, and cool aquas, and then this orange kind of warms it all up. So um, there's a lot of vintage inspired icons in here, as well as um, 
some designs that would remind one of home, like kind of like the china here and then these home sketches. These are the cardstock stickers that match. This font here is kind of a skinnier, taller font and it has a subtle graphic print on the back. And then we also have the fabric still available. So these are awesome because they're fabric, um, sticky backed pieces of um, strips that you can bind a journal with or make them into flowers. They have actually all sorts of ideas here on the back of the packaging. It says punch it, make flowers, bunch it. They've done with a little flower here. Pleat it, cut it, lots of possibilities. Jenny Bolin Studios is another brand that um, her signature look is vintage. So everything that you find from her is going to work with this theme. Um, these are vintage number cards and they're just black and cream. They've got fun little icons and the numbers on there. This is this is one size here. And then you get up to 10. These are printed tags and it's nice because the holes are reinforced for you and they've got some cord here. These are printed pockets and let's see, with the tags you get nine pieces total. So there's three of each of these sizes. And with the pockets, it looks like old advertisements on here, there are four pieces total, um, two of each size. Okay, these have been popular. We got them back in the store. We had to restock them. Um, these are hodgepodge stickers. So you get the flag or the flashcard stickers, little tabs, these printed circles, and then and a circle alphabet below and numbers. That one was the um, magpie. This one is souvenir. She does a lot with the red and black and cream color scheme. This one is um, called Playful. A very hot item that we're seeing used in the gallery a lot is um, her uh, die cut papers. And we just got these in craft too. I just have the cream in front of me, but you'll want to check out the craft if you like that kind of paper. Um, this is the stencil lettering guide. This next one is um, receipt, so you can tear these off, um, use them as you know layering papers, dress them up, make them yours. This one is called bank statement, and again they're perforated, so you can rip these apart. I've seen some really cool things done with these, including this last one called stamp, and these are all little boxes um, that you can cut out and use these as just little accent pieces. You can stamp on them, journal on them, use them as strips. Very fun. I just grabbed a couple paper collections from her, including the Magpie collection. And um, I like the olive greens and um, dusty pinks and golds with a pop of red here. She always does a, a pattern sheet where all the patterns from the collection are shrunk down onto one sheet. So this is the mini pattern sheet. Get them on the back there too. This is the accessory sheet. This is called Gather. Stash. Love this chevron here, it's called Compile. Nest. This is old um, coffee seals. This is called Salvage, I love that little truck. Bikes on the back. And this one is called Collect with the very popular geometric shapes on there and a big polka dot on the back. There's also the red and black collection. I'll just kind of fan through these, um, but be sure and check this out as well. If you, if you like working with kind of a limited color scheme um, and, and keep it really classic, 
she does a lot with this color scheme. So you wanna check those out. Moving on to some of the paper embellishments. Um, I've shown you some of these before, but not all of them. Glitz has a lot of um, product to work with in this theme, and including their paper layers. So um, these are thin pieces of paper that have just these excellent graphics on them that um, look very vintage and they're great for layering. If you like kind of using old book pages and things like that, that's the idea behind this product from them um, without having to hunt at antique stores and thrift stores and getting them yourself. They also have um, layered stickers. This is from the French Kiss collection. They also have a product called Peekaboo, and if you work with divided page protectors or bank mini albums and like to add a transparent element um, to your projects, or, then these are really interesting because they can just add a fun twist to your pages by giving that layer behind that kind of gives you a, a peek into what's coming up behind the page. So this is from the Pretty in Pink collection, I believe. Yep. They've just got these great pieces in here. Frame, and then I love this big word art piece. Every day is an adventure. The layering papers from the Pretty in Pink collection are very feminine and delicate with birds and flowers and text. Very pretty. These are the cardstock stickers from the Pretty in Pink collection. You've got a postcard here. And I love this little framed spot there in the corner. These are the paper layers from Happy Travels. They're just excellent graphics. I love um, the typography in these and the designs overall are just really cool. Some of the peekaboo elements from the Happy Travels collection. We've got smaller pieces with the frames. Some are more transparent than others. Here we've got a couple advertisements. You could certainly cut these up and use them how you want. And they're nice and thick too. They're not flimsy transparencies, so that's nice. And this is the cardstock sticker for Happy Travels. We've got this great airplane and maps and roses used throughout. Um, some brands that you don't want to miss looking for die cuts and tickets and embellishments like that is Seven Gypsies. These are the um, numero tickets and it, it's one through seven so th and you get two of each. So there's 14 pieces here. This would be great for um, days of the week layout or a mini album or something like that. Here's a preview. Here is the vintage set and I'll flip these over so that you can see there's polka dots, flourishes, text, lots of layering of graphics on these, very pretty. These are tag inserts and um, looks like they're a couple inches wide and they're square and I like that the corners are rounded. There's 20 pieces here and these are from the Postal Collection. So you've got red, um, black and cream and lots of airmail and um, postage imagery which is really popular right now. They, we also have index cards. There's 20 pieces here that are nice big size. So again, rounded corners. Um, they also have a line of products um, that are just th naked. You can alter them, um, use them as is. These are the library drawer um, side tabs and they, you can work um, with their other products. So 
Um, if you have a drawer from them, you can use these as kind of a cool display and organize your display in that way. Or punch holes and create a mini album and use these little tabs here on the side to organize. I love the scallops on these index cards. There's 20 pieces here. And then there's a cute little circle scalloped set. Again, 20 pieces. And then I'll end by showing this um, girls' papery. This is probably on sale right now. We've had it for a while, but I thought it was too sweet to not um, show because it's really got a lot of fun trinkets in here. Um, this is called Vintage Whimsy Crafting Kit, and you get seven journaling tags, 32 flower blossoms, 50 designer die cuts, two yards of twine, five jewel buttons, and 50 sequins. So these are really fun to mix and match and pull together. And um, They've got pinks and aquas and very sweet, very vintage-y. All right, so today I have a big prize to give away. Um, I showed you the memoir collection from Studio Calico, and I have a whole set of it here that I can give away, including more products that I than I was able to show you, like their 6x6 paper pad and sticky notes, chipboard, fabrics, label stickers, um, all sorts of things. So just leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see in a future video, and I will see you next time.